What's up you guys, Brock Cannon here, certified level two Wim Hof instructor. And I wanted to talk today about three mistakes people make when transitioning from the comfort of their cold shower at home or the comfort of their ice bath at home and going out into the wild, out into starting to plunge in nature. So I've learned a lot of these from uh, mistakes of my own. So hopefully I can save you guys some trouble and prep you to be smarter and safer. So mistake number one, um, they underestimate the elements. Meaning people think, oh, cold exposure is only the time spent in the water. Wrong. <laughs> cold exposure is the time spent hiking in oftentimes. It's the period in going from the lake or the river or the ocean back to the car. That's all cold exposure time. And the colder it is outside, often even if the air is colder than the water temperature, you have to make the proper preparations. So I typically have a whole separate checklist of items that I'm gonna prepare with and that I'm gonna take with me when I'm going out into nature. The obvious is that's going to include a towel, but that also might include a tarp. That might also include an emergency blanket. That's going to include a lot more items of warmer clothes, socks, gloves, all of that, just in case I get super cold trying to rewarm and it's further than I think in some cases. So I always encourage people to err on the side of over preparation versus not having enough. The second mistake people make is they don't bring a plunge buddy. <laughs> Super important. Just like backcountry skiers wouldn't go skiing in the backcountry by themselves ever, unless they have a death wish, you wanna do the same with going out into nature. The only exception might be if it's like a really calm lake and your car's literally right there, maybe there's people walking by. But other than that, like if you're going out, especially cutting holes in the ice and stuff like that, if you're hiking out into the wilderness, into lakes and stuff like that, if you're going to swift rivers, uh, always bring a buddy. So common sense isn't so common and I would definitely recommend that when you start to transition. Plus, it's gonna be a lot more fun going with a friend as it always is. Third, ah, my favorite. People mistake the unpredictability of nature. So this kind of goes back to preparation, but even more so just understanding that sitting still in a controlled environment like an ice bath or a cold shower is often very different than sitting in a lake where there's waves. You might have a wind kick up and there might be waves. There might be sharp objects underneath the lake cutting a hole in the ice. You can cut yourself on the ice pretty easily. In fact, um, I had some ice shards cut off from when I was hacking my ax into the ice and it cut my finger the other day. It started bleeding everywhere. Like there's just a lot more unpredictability when you're out in nature. If you're plunging in the ocean, like a lot of people do, that's even more unpredictable. So you wanna be smart yeah, and you have to account for that. And you have to know that as you start transitioning out into that, it might feel a little more nerve wracking. You know, our bodies gear up physiologically to handle the cold as it is, it's even more so when you add the unpredictability of nature and the elements onto that. So that would be my advice for people transitioning from a controlled environment out into the great wild. And I hope these have been helpful for you guys. So if you have comments, drop them below. I'd love to hear your experience. Uh, happy plunging. Enjoy.